Hey, Psych2Go family. Before we get started on today's video, we at Psych2Go want to wish everyone safety and health during the outbreak of COVID-19. Stay strong. We're here for you. Over the past few weeks, the feeling of uncertainty of the future has caused many people to feel anxious. People are worried about their health, families, their jobs, about how long they have to stay inside their houses, rent payments, etc. The cases of anxiety being reported to mental health professionals are rising day by day. So, here are six signs of coronavirus anxiety and what you can do about it. One, excessive worrying. Have you been feeling worried for the past few days? Are your worries not letting you sleep? During this uncertain time, our minds have the tendency of overthinking and creating situations out of the what ifs. If you feel like you can't stop worrying, then designate a time for your worries, like 15 or 20 minutes in a day. You can talk to someone about it during that time. Or maybe just write what you're feeling in your journal. Make sure to take time to unplug from your social media platforms and make sure to spend some time without constantly checking the news. Number two, hopelessness. It might feel like everything is hopeless at this time. You might feel like this whole big chaos might never end. Or maybe you were looking forward to something for a long time and it's been canceled. Or maybe you were finally feeling better and then this pandemic happened and now you're feeling lost again. These feelings of disappointment are normal and you don't have to ignore them. What you're feeling is valid. Staying away from any kind of misinformation and checking out the positive news from around the world as well as seeing acts of kindness and compassion from people can help build hope that this too shall pass. Three, a faster heart rate. Stress may also cause your heart to beat fast. This happens because your body feels like it's in danger and to prepare you for this danger, it secretes hormones. These hormones are responsible for your heartbeat rising, high blood pressure, breathlessness, etc. If you feel like this, try grounding yourself with these simple steps. First, you can do this by touching anything that you can find near you. Second, try to describe things around you that will help you feel more grounded. Four, irritability. Have you been feeling irritated a lot in these past few days? Do you get easily upset or frustrated? You might feel that your emotions are all over the place and living in close proximity with your family or friends makes them an easy target for your sour, grumpy mood. This might make you feel even more guilty about your emotions. By reminding yourself that it's just a response of stress and it's valid for you to feel this way, your feeling of guilt can lessen considerably. If you're an introvert and are living with others, then there's a likelihood that your feelings of irritability could also be because of not getting enough alone time. Remember you're allowed to take space as it's an important part of your self-care. Five, restlessness. Do you feel like you're always on edge? Are you having a difficult time staying still or relaxing? Maybe you feel like you always have to keep on checking the news all the time, so it would be better for you to take a break from the news or limit your consumption. Occupy your mind with something else, like making a new recipe, painting, reading a book, watching movies, or chatting with your friends. Six, fatigue. Feeling tired most of the time is a common symptom of anxiety. If you feel tired easily, then it would be a good idea to engage in activities that energize you. It could be anything that makes you happy and excited, like dancing or maybe playing with your pet. Exercise can also help you feel active while improving your mood. Do you relate to any of these signs in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Many therapists are providing their services online nowadays. Also, there are some who are sharing knowledge on how to take care of your mental health on platforms like Instagram. So try to take advantage of these services to help relieve your stress. If you're already seeing a therapist, getting in touch with them is also a good idea. Talking to someone helps in dealing with these feelings rather than bottling them up inside. Stay safe, everybody. Stay strong and stay home.